Hey guys, what's up? My name is DJ Henry and today I'm going to try and change your perspective on going through hard stuff. Have you ever felt like life was just one bad thing after another? Like you're losing loved ones, your business isn't going right, the fridge is going out, the toilet's overflowing, you're having trouble with your teenage kids and it's just one thing after the other and you're waiting for the next foot to drop if you somehow have a period of something going right. Maybe you have a really big dream and you just feel like there's all these obstacles just popping up all around you. Believe me, I know exactly how that feels. And like the old folks used to say or still do say, you're either coming out of a storm, in a storm, or about to go into a storm. And it kind of sucks that when you're going through life, you're just looking at the storm as your perspective. I really love that image of when you're in an airplane and you're flying above the clouds and maybe the clouds are really gray and you get finally higher than the clouds and you see the sun was there the whole time and it's bright and it's beautiful and the sky above looks blue and clear. That's just a really amazing metaphor for real life. Recently, I've been really going through it, especially the last few months. And I'm kind of a sensitive person and I feel things really deeply when they happen. So it causes a lot of stress and it really impacts me like to my core. So it's really, it's really hard to go through all of these different things, especially when they keep piling up one after the other. You know what I mean? Have you been there? And sometimes it's not these huge things, but it's just the daily stresses of life. The other day I was praying and all of a sudden I got this thing, this this image, this I don't know, this idea just came in my head and it was a totally different perspective on how to look at going through struggles in life. I knew it was from God because it was completely absurd. It was something that was outside of my normal thinking. I was like, what? Like, how could I look at a struggle or a bad thing like this instead? What if it's actually God's mercy and grace that we go through all of these things? I was like, what? But before you click off this video, just, just give me a chance. You know when you go through hard things, it's like you either run to God or you run away from God. When you go through fire, your character is tested. When you go through that fire and you run towards God, you grow stronger in your faith. You grow stronger in your inner peace. You go stronger in your purpose. But then when you run away from God, you usually end up getting more depressed, more overwhelmed. You have no peace. You have no clarity in the situation. But when you're going towards God, it's like all of these good things in the midst of the crappy stuff, it just it strengthens you inside. I feel like it adds to your chutzpah. I know someone personally who is in extreme pain every single day. But this man smiles, he works hard, he's dedicated, he's always somehow making other people happy around him. It's like he has the sunshine on his face. And I know a fact that he is in a lot of pain every day. He's just an inspiration. And you're like, how do you get there? How can I have that kind of strength? You can even imagine someone who is really fit, you know, has muscles, banging body, rock solid, hard abs, and you're like, I really want that. I, I want that body. But the thing is, we're not willing to go through the pain, the workouts, the early morning workouts, the late night workouts, the disciplined eating, um, the sacrifices to get that kind of result. It's the same thing with our spiritual growth. When we go through things, it makes us stronger. It helps us to grow in our faith. It helps us to know God better. And the knowing God better is the prize itself. And you guys know that. Whoever has gone through something really hard and you choose to run towards God, you know that there's something about knowing God. It's almost like you can't put words to it. You begin to know him intimately and you know that he's there walking through life with you. To tell you the truth, right now I'm learning what it means to walk with someone through some hard stuff. I'm really learning this reflection of him as I'm going through th this thing with my daughter is that I'm learning that, well, that's what he did with me. When I was struggling, when I was running away, when I was like being a teenager, even in my 20s, that he was right there. And that is gracious of him. And 
you know, it's, it's kind of interesting how we get to know God better through our children. A friend, a new friend, um, shared with me that there was a time when she was going through something really difficult and it was really hard to see anything good you know around her and in those moments she would take time to write something good every day and she called those her grace notes and i thought that was a really awesome thing because sometimes you forget in the midst of the struggles of life to write down your grace note if you've ever seen the movie miracles from heaven you've got to check it out it's about a young girl who all of a sudden was diagnosed with this very rare digestive disease. And her intestines were all twisted up and they weren't working and it was actually a fatal disease. And her mother did everything she knew to help her daughter. She like flew across the country, did whatever, saw whatever doctors, everything. And the child was in so much pain that she wanted to die. And one day her and her sister are climbing a tree and her sister falls through like a rotten piece of the tree and it's hollowed and she falls all the way down and hits her head and lands at the bottom and she's miraculously healed and i can't even tell you that there's a spoiler alert because it's a true story at the end of the movie you look back and the mom who was like fighting and she lost her faith and you look back and she she points out the moments of grace god is our merciful father and the source of all comfort he comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. The other perspective that we need to remember is that our pain qualifies us for the purpose that we have. So my pastor, he loves to talk about your purpose and why you're here and you know, really seeking that out. So. On Sunday, he told us a story about this young woman who was trapped in the sex uh, industry and her life was hopeless and she didn't you know, know what her purpose was and she was so lost, but she eventually came to know the Lord and was healed from that lifestyle. But then she turns around and she gives her whole life to rescuing girls out of the sex industry. And she wants to build a house and help the girls heal and her pain qualified her to do this work. It wasn't like, you know, she has all these degrees after her name and she started this business and has all these investors and has a startup for girls to get out of this industry. No, her pain qualified her. So when you look at your life and you look at the pain you're going through, think about it. It's qualifying you for the work that you have to do, the work that God's created already to give you. So remember that you are going through hard things to help other people go through hard things. Lastly, I wanna remind you that your pain builds you into the person that can handle bigger and better things. Do you wanna be that lady boss that runs things and makes changes and big moves wherever she goes? Well, imagine if you never worked out and you never built any muscle. You would just be wimpy. You would just be a wimpy person. And wimpy people can't lead teams and fight for justice and make change. And you've been through a lot of stuff and that's preparing you for the work that God has already planned for you to do. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. I'll be really honest with you. There are some days I'm like, why is this so hard? Why is it so hard for me just to do this one thing, to like achieve this one dream, just, just to get there, you know? But then I think about it and I realize my life is actually not that hard because when I look around the rest of the world, like my life is not that hard, you know what I mean? When I was going through the worst part of my postpartum depression, that's a lot of peace and it was really at its worst, I went to see a counselor and I remember that counselor telling me to write down five things every day in my journal that I was grateful for. In the beginning, I was like, what am I grateful for? Like, I have nothing, like I literally, I couldn't see anything. And I know you're probably like, Deja, come on. I was like, no, at that time, I was a completely different person and I couldn't see anything. I woke up tired, I went to bed tired, I was just tired, I just, I just wanted everything to end. I just finally had to go down to basics, I was like, grateful for my kids they were there they were doing good and they were laughing and they were happy I'm grateful for my kids I'm grateful for oh I have food I had food today I'm grateful for my food uh, I have a bed I'm, I have a bed I'm grateful for my bed because I know some people don't have beds and I have a roof over my head and that's how it started every day I had to go back really really basic but then something happened every single day 
I was able to find something else. I started feeling better. It was so weird. I don't even know exactly how to explain like the science or anything behind it, but I know that it worked. I mean, gratitude is so powerful. So I want to encourage you to, I hope, take note of everything here that I've said and understand that we have to go through stuff. I mean, this is life. It's real life. We're going to go through things, but our perspective can change. We don't have to go through life with, you know, like Eeyore or one of those characters that, you know, they walk around with a cloud over our head. We can go to the, go with the perspective knowing that the sun is still there, even if we can't see it sometimes. So I want to encourage you to think about ways that you could help yourself change your perspective. You can write down a grace note every day and, and write a, a note and say, well, this is, this is one little way that God provided grace today. You could write down five things every day that you're grateful for. And for me, when I feel really stressed out, I just start saying, I'm grateful for this, this, and this. And something just lifts off of me and I'm happier. And I just do it. It's like to help my anxiety. I just sit there quietly and I just start saying things I'm grateful for. And it really helps. I just want to thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful to you. I'd love it if you give this a thumbs up and if you leave a comment below and hit that subscribe button and I will see you next week. Bye. Wait, don't go. Do you like this type of video? Do you want inspiration to your inbox every week? Well, I want to encourage you to go to djhenry.com forward slash connect and sign up and you'll be sure to get videos like this to your mailbox every week and I've got some really fun stuff planned for you this year. I hope that you have a great day and I will see you later. Gator.